Hello to everybody who is looking for more analog joysticks for the Xbox Adaptive Controller. One of the harder things to find for this device is something analog. Uh, digital is fine. It switches, right? But the analog, which goes through the USB in the side, those are a little harder to come by. Or they exist and they're out of stock, which is as good as not existing, right? So I've been working on a couple designs and I kind of want your opinion and thoughts. Uh, one of these I have made available for sale because I'm happy enough with it. The other one I'm holding off because I'm not as happy with it. And I don't like shipping stuff I'm not completely happy with. So the one I'm happy with is this palm style stick. It's a 3D printed case. So you're going to have some rough edges because it's 3D printed. It's made in my shop, right? This is not coming out of a big factory. These are all handmade. And uh, this one has the old PlayStation 2 style analog stick that you see all the time on Amazon. So it's that very common one with the breakout board and, and the connectors and everything. So inside this case, we have that joystick itself, which is pretty stiff. And then there is an Arduino Micro Pro, Pro Micro, in there that handles the USB part of it. So the microcontroller in there listens to the joystick, sends the joystick commands upstream to the Xbox adaptive controller. And uh, as you may or may not know, I've been working on that sort of software for about four years now. So I've got that pretty well locked down, I think. I'm sure somebody else is doing it better, but... I did it a while ago. Anyhow, okay, enough of that blurb. Let's talk about this stick. The idea behind the palm stick, and this is a small version. Uh, it's uh, four centimeters by four centimeters. It's about, well, to the very top, it's about four centimeters also. So the idea is you lay your hand on top of it and rotate it. So let me put it on the side here so you can see. So that's the idea. Or you could use fingertip motions. Uh, this may not help a lot of people. I, I'm actually considering using this for some games. So as, as the look around, uh, you know, look left, look right, look up, look down. So I could just kind of do it that way. Uh, and it will go to the limits. At the bottom, I've got, so I've attached some of that non-slip shelf liner so it doesn't move around so that that one i'm happy with that one i do I, i've done a limited run i did a couple of them in these colors and i may be making more if there is demand probably with different colors maybe a this is kind of like an animal crossing theme even though it works with xbox and pc so that's that one that's available this one similar idea it's smaller it's a little bit shorter uh, it's got a much lower profile because this has one of those slider sticks in it. If you remember the original um, PlayStation Portable, they had that little joystick, and I'm sure somebody's had it since then, but this is what I remember. Uh, the little thumb stick that you move back and forth, so I thought, well, that would be kind of interesting. And uh, like this one, it has that joystick in it, and this one, it doesn't tilt, right? It, it goes left, right, up, you know, it goes in that circle like that. Uh, microcontroller in here also, the Arduino Pro Micro, which handles the USB, and then the uh, cap, which is removable. Okay, so here's what I'm having trouble with, and I, I really want your input on. One, I feel that it's too tight. It just has too much tension. Um, as a couple of fingers maybe, but just a thumb or one finger, I, even though it has a very short throw, it has, uh, oh my goodness, maybe about four or five, mil well, even then less than that, three or four millimeter throw, it still seems to, just a little too hard to move. The other thing, and this is an unfortunate side effect or design of the joystick itself not not the part i built but the part that i purchased is that it's not 
that axis is not fixed. This thing spins. Well, that's fine when you have like a tiny little thing and you're just doing your thumb, right? Like on the old portable. But if it's somebody trying to manipulate it, see how it kind of shifts left and right? And there's really no way for me to stop that. So this, this one is kind of annoying me because I went to all this trouble to make the case and solder everything and whatnot. And, and it's just, I'm not entirely happy with it. Now, perhaps, perhaps just thinking right now, I could use it as a elbow stick. Maybe that's how it will get its use. Because, the, you know, there are folks who are, uh, have their forearm amputated and but they do have the elbow so they could move it that way I might try that uh, if anybody's interested in trying this out uh, shoot me an email or send me a message at my Etsy store and we could work something out to get you to be a beta tester the other thought I had with this is um, to maybe put a different uh, cap on it this is just just a. This is actually from a Joy-Con uh, cover for a joystick, and you actually get a better grip on this, and maybe, and it might it might be better for the elbow too. So th this may be something where I provide a pad like this. Uh, these little guys are rubberized, which gives you a nice grip. So. Uh, let me know what you think about this one. Uh, the Palm one is for sale, and if you want to make your own, I can provide you with the GitHub files that have the specs. Uh, keeping in mind, it, it does take a while to print. It takes a while to assemble. I could probably do it faster for you, but some people want to do their own. That's cool. Uh, this one, we'll see. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your feedback. I am working on a couple of more designs. My idea is to have at least several designs ready and in stock, always in stock. So uh, you can get your analog fix without seeing out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I don't like seeing that. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.